How's it going people? Thanks very much again for tuning in to one of our videos. Now, today's date is the 16th of November and the reason why I'm pointing this out is because it's three months today where Kim put out one of her situation reports and on that particular show on 16th of August 2023 she spoke about Maui in Hawaii and that there would be an international relief or what she, I think, I'm sure she called it international natural relief fund and this fund would be for helping those that had lost all of their um everything in their life but mostly spoke about homes and businesses and things like that so this video is is to go back is an update on what has actually happened what Kim has done in Maui um, so we've got an update for you and um, we'll show that the update as well well how far the reconstruction of the island and also a video of the people explaining how they got money so that can only be good couldn't it okay so before we go on I want to play back what she actually said so let's go back in time three months and now listen to what she said and then we'll show you how far it's gone we'll leave it that for now anyway back in a minute uh, as far as moving forward in Maui here is the plan uh, and be very clear about this we have no intention of owning Maui be nice to have a house there some some point in my life but you know maybe retire there who knows but uh the people with the properties with the homes that burnt down will be the same people that will have a new home built on the same property at zero cost to them because this is part of the natural disaster relief the international natural disaster relief plan that we tried to implement even under the trump administration uh for uh victims of hurricane michael uh, we sent money for that, and clearly, if you've been to that particular area, it still needs a lot of help. And he didn't adhere to any of the rules for those money, clearly. If you are from that area in Florida, you know that. Uh, so this was the plan there, and this is the plan here, and it will be the same for anywhere in the world where this type of an event happens. Uh, the businesses will belong to the same business people that owned them before. Front Street, uh, which is the main uh, drag in, in Lahaina, uh, will look exactly like it did before uh, or better, should the business owners so choose it. Uh, that we will not be building high-rise condos, Chinese military bases, or any other kind of military base for that matter. Uh, the land will still belong to those same people uh, and the same thing. Uh, will be afforded to them. So we're not having any intention here of, of we just want to help rebuild. Uh, we want to keep people safe and help people rebuild. We have been in contact with some people there on the island and, and been able to provide some kind of, you know, nominal supplies. Uh, thanks. Thank you to, to all our, subs, our subscribers uh, for that, because it's you that makes that kind of thing happen. Uh, Contrary to popular belief that's <laughs> of some, uh, that's what we do use those funds for, for emergencies, for whether it's an individual needs food or it's medical supplies or they need, you know, need help in, in, in that region. Uh, they have been blocking supply ships uh, to the area. Uh, there's usually ships that come in uh, twice a week uh, to stock grocery stores. Those ships have not come in. Some of them are sitting offshore uh, and they are... Uh, the food is going bad. A lot of things are happening there. A lot of this is intentional. That's quite obvious. 
they really don't care how many people there die. I'm sure Blackwater didn't roll up there. Um, you know, they were due to get paid today as well, by the way. They were on this quote unquote payroll that didn't go out. So now you've seen that that clip of what she promised to do. Let's have a look at what she's actually done and and the progress of that relief fund. So here's what she's done. Yep, that's right, folks. Tumbleweed. Absolute nothing. Nothing's happened from Kim's point of well, from what Kim's done. She's done nothing. All them promises. She said every single person that lost her home would have it rebuilt in the same plot of land that the old structure was was standing on all the businesses would still own those those businesses and the buildings so what why isn't why isn't anything moved on well i don't need to ask myself that question i'm i'm saying i'm asking you you people that follow her we've said many many times that you have to make a de- a note of the date when Kim says something. You need to record it. She doesn't always put a date on something, but when some when there's a natural disaster like this, <clears throat> not like oh we're taking out bunkers, you'll never be able to view that. You'd never be she'd never be able to prove that, and you couldn't ask her to prove it because it's the same or bullshit. Oh, it's operational. It's security. People get will die if we show that information. So this is a perfect opportunity for you, Kim's believers, to see how your saviour has made miracles by rebuilding, at least rebuilding someone's home. Because those poor people have not just lost bricks and mortar. And the you know sentimental things. They lost their loved ones, family members, their dear friends, but most of all, their animals that were so innocent too. And she made a promise. She made a promise in that particular situation report, like, "This is what I'm going to do for the people." She capitalizes on. A natural disaster like that for people to think oh you're such a great person I can I, honestly I could just see it all of you that kind of have worked out Kim you can imagine all of her followers there like tears in their eyes saying oh Kim such a you've touched my heart yeah the nasty woman I won't even call her that parasite has done zilch since she made that situation report. Now we, we spoke to our sources that are in Kim's camp and that you know we said look you know, what's been what have you heard anything about, you know, Maori rebuilding? And they went, Nope, that that got shut down. Nothing said about it anymore. I said, Well why? People then ask they just saw what was going on in the telegram groups people were asking the question do you have an update on Maui where the where the people are you know especially the ones that have got you know it, it's it's part of America it's Hawaii United States of America and people around the world but mostly in the United States were probably thinking oh my you know I've got family back home and they get to hear that nothing's being done for them, that they're struggling to get money from the government, from all these different relief funds out there. But they're telling their family, don't worry, I've got, we've got, a, you know, Kim, Kim Gogan is going to help you. Watch how he's coming. And what do they do? They chase up. 
in the Telegram groups. Does the average Joe in the Telegram group of Kim's care asks a question about it? And we've been told they've either been ignored, silenced by being deleted or snoozed. And a lot have been removed from the groups. <clears throat> and this is what they do. So those that are part of Kim's team, especially the sources, will not jeopardize their position by asking themselves because they know what happens. They've seen what happens to all the other high ranking members. When you cross when you cross her, you've heard what Ava Cowan said. Max Lowen, Thomas Williams. You've you've heard them. I mean they're quite they can't get much higher than these people. So they were removed. And anybody in the groups now, if you're brave enough to ask the same question, there's only one way to know if I'm telling you the truth or not, is by asking those questions. And if you just keep answering, asking those questions until you get it answered. We know what will happen. But you probably won't because you love being in those groups for whatever reason. But you'll get removed because I've seen how people have, be, have regrouped in their own Telegram groups. It's such a wonderful thing, even though some are still believe in what Kim's saying. They've regrouped. They might still want to be part of the restoration plan. Which, as in Team Bubba, know it's complete bullshit. It's pure evil, pure evil, and it makes my blood boil that this woman can still continue to have followers when she again she's not come up with the goods. Now it, I'm going to play you a video. Now have a listen to this. This is some guy. I'm going to I'm going to um, plug his YouTube channel as well. I'll put the link in here because it's his content. But he goes around and asks people boots on the ground how things are you know how are they doing in Maui how are things going on what are they doing for money insurance money funds so have, have a little watch of this you can do your own research do, <laughs> there's loads of stuff on on YouTube and uh, Rumble about people still not having a home some are the ones that were fortunately well off and ones that were very poor. But I've just chosen this particular video. You watch it. There's not one mention in this video I'm about to show you about Kim's Relief Fund. In fact, people having to borrow money and pay interest as soon as that money is borrowed. So if you're for your home to be completely rebuilt, you cannot get your own contract. It has to be a specific person, or a group, part of a, I guess, preferred list. And you're paying nearly double what it would normally cost to build your house because people are taking the piss on someone's bad miss, you know, bad fortune, should I say? absolutely disgraceful and the Red Cross and all these other ones they yep we can help you anyway watch this video we'll come back on Maui I'm here with Ed and Michelle and they um, have been gracious enough to allow me to come onto their property and to show you the world what's going on here at the devastation of their what used to be their beautiful home they've uh, they owned it for about seven years it is a complete and total loss and they're gonna go through um, an update if you will of what they've experienced since the fire in terms of support from the various governmental agencies from their insurance companies because we believe it's very important for you the um, concerned citizen of the world to know what's actually going on here 
in Lahaina. So this is not something you're gonna see in the mainstream media probably, but I think it's very important because we need to bring awareness to the struggle that the people of Lahaina are actually going through. And more than anything, we gotta get the word out because if the word gets out, then there can be possible justice or there can be people that come to the aid of the people of Lahaina. So please do me a favor, do Lahaina a favor, do the Cheneys a favor, um, share the video, subscribe to the channel. It's been shadow banned. And, uh, and we're gonna not just talk about what they've experienced, but we're also gonna show you around their land, what's left of their belongings, and show you some really interesting, weird, crazy things that I don't know if anyone's actually gone on a property and done this before, but we wanna sh shine a light on, on what's happened here. Um, so anyway, with, uh, with much love and respect and aloha to all the fire survivors, we're doing this also as a community service because the story that you're about to hear Ed and Michelle tell is the same story that I'm hearing from basically everybody that I've talked to as well. And it's, it's not really that pretty what they're going through. So with that, Ed, tell us a little bit, and Michelle, tell us a little bit about the support that you've received since the fire in terms of, and let's just get right down to the numbers. You know, uh, how much money have you received as homeowners, right? These are not, they're not renters, so that you didn't qualify for the normal stuff because nope. the default answer from FEMA and Red Cross is if you have insurance, what do they tell you? They say, we can't help you until everybody else has been exhausted but most of them have the same response. Uh, we can't do much for you because you have insurance. So go to your insurance company. Right. Yep. That's the answer. Okay, now are you willing to tell us who your insurance company is? Geico. Geico, all well, right. It's That's a pretty good name. R and RLI. Yeah, but, RLI, subsidiary of Geico. But if you sign up with Geico Home Insurance, they're gonna basically put you in touch with this other company that handles their home insurance, yep. right? Which is yep. called? RLI. RLI. Okay. And what's been your experience so far with RLI and uh, what kind of monies have you received to date? Well, it's been a little difficult um, in the beginning, you know, the process of not knowing exactly what you're doing. Um, you know, we're not insurance people. Right. Um, so that was a learning curve as well. We've never and done this before, no, obviously. Never. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they'll give you little bits at a time and um, we're still working on our prop personal property. We have to list everything that mm. we owned uh, on this personal property list. Have you received any money yet? On that, he gave us um, a little bit of, you know, like 25 for it, but um, he gives so you, a little bit of money for that. So in you the received very some money for your personal possessions that you lost? Yeah, but it's not anywhere near the policy. Not anywhere no, close. No. And so we have to do a detailed list of that, which is very time consuming just trying to remember what you had yeah you know and then just trying to remember when you bought it how much you paid for it so you have to provide receipts or or some kind well, of you, itemized list yeah oh. some okay kind of itemized list but um what about rental assistance i know that no rental no um, rental money at all no we were actually, not a penny no so this is 90 days after the fire yeah and you have not received any money yet for rental assistance and the reason for that was a customer gave us a place to stay temporarily and out of the kindness of their heart out of the yeah. kindness of the heart so you have so a roof once, over your head and once we accept yeah <laughs> well yeah we had animals and we couldn't yeah, just if you remember ed's the guy that saved his chickens 30 <laughs> chickens they lived in the three van dogs. with three and dogs, three dogs yeah. yep <laughs> good for you and we've since Unfortunately, lost, lost one of our one little one dogs little dogs we don't know what happened yeah. to her um so once you accept a free place to stay even temporary nobody can help you they they cut off services to you yeah once you take um right well we're, with red cross we um they did actually give us some financial funds um but then right after that they they closed the case and said because you don't need and i called them twice and i said i want to make sure because what if like three months from now we need housing and we mm -hmm. you know i mean apparently they're extending out 18 months on some of this and i said what do we do and they say, well, if you have housing now, you can't apply for that. So mm. we're so because, still kind of concerned about that. Because somebody helped you and yep. provided a place to live, yeah. then you missed out on the normal yep. benefits. Right. And even your insurance company has been unwilling to yep. forward you any money, even though you're obviously living in someone's home. Right. Yep. What about um, any of the big, obviously, uh, Ed and Michelle received some monies from the Lahaina Fire Fund. 
There's lots of other funds out there, right? You got the Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. I believe you applied for that. Is that what you told me? Yeah. Any funds coming in from the Oprah Winfrey fund? We did actually get um, a payment on that. One payment? One payment, yeah. And that's it? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Everyone that I've talked to, by the way, that applied for that received one payment and there was a promise of continuing payments, but yeah. no one said they received any more after that. Yeah. And then you've got the conundrum of your insurance and the coverage and rebuilding of your home. Now, by the way, this property was just sprayed. We're going to show you it has the new soil tech. Soil tech. Um, in terms of the coverage, I know you just met with the SBA and give us a little rundown because I think this is, if people talk about a potential land grab in Lahaina, I believe the land grab consists of what you're about to hear, which is people that have mortgage payments yep. that are still due, right? Yep. And they can't live in their home. And then ultimately having a shortfall of coverage and then having another loan coming in from the SBA yep. and that payment starts. So now you have two payments and not enough to cover the cost of replacing yeah, all the buildings you have here. So just give us a quick rundown of what that's looked like so far. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to get my train of thought back. Um, we applied for the SBA, and um, they, uh, when we first applied, we were told that you would have a year to actually take the funds, mm -hmm. and no payment would be required to be paid for a year. And um, a year, 11 months, so they, it, it kept going back and forth, so that you, and no, no interest for a year. But when SBA called us, the guy told us that that's incorrect, that once you start taking the funds, the interest starts, mm -hmm. and that you will have to make payments. And uh, I'm thinking maybe he said something about you might get a six-month leeway. Mm. And um, but the total amount of money that uh, that you shared with me that SBA will provide, combined with the amount of total money that you could get from your homeowner's insurance, is that enough to build what you had here? Because you, uh, I believe, you had one home and an Ohana. We had two. Uh, well, two, we had a, two homes and an Ohana and a garage. And a garage. Two homes and Ohana and a yep. garage. And so to re, to build all that today, you've been quoted somewhere between five and seven hundred dollars a square foot. We were told we were yeah. um, we we were tasked to go out and find contractors to give us pricing. Mm -hmm. Because and, by the way, they can't get the money if they do it as an owner builder, right? Right. You have to Not use yep. a GC. So if they Ed can build anything, but to get this money. Yep. From the SBA, you have to use a general contractor, mm -hmm. and the minimum that I've known over the years to build on Maui is, you know, minimum, bare, bare minimum is 500 bucks a square yep. foot, and that's that's pushing it. That's before it. the and fire. You, that's yeah. before the fire. And Normally, it's 700 dollars a square foot. So, what's the total amount conservatively that you think Ed it would cost with a general contractor to rebuild what you had here? What? Just the main house, which is only 850 square, 849 square feet, or, or somewhere there, that was ranging in the 850 uh, thousand. Okay, so 850 grand just for the main just home, the main just for the main home. Not Forget about garage, no garage, no, no rentals. Garage. Okay, so let's just work with that number. Let's just take 850 grand. How much money did the insurance company say you'll get for replacement cost? 240. 240. Okay, so that's 240. And then how much money from the SBA? 560? Well, I, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but it was around five, 500. So 500. So you could end up possibly with $750,000 yep. between those two sources. That's not enough to rebuild the main home, nope. obviously. And then you have to make a payment on the SBA loan, right? And then and you the still, mortgage. and you still, they still have their existing mortgage. So part of the, the challenge is that most people are gonna to wanna to not default on their loan because they don't wanna lose their property and that's the land grab if they default. You've been making your payments ever since yep. you oh, yeah. got burned down, right? So they're making their payments every single month for a place they can't live in. And then ultimately, it's not enough money, but you would have to take some of that money to pay off your loan. Now, I'm not gonna ask you how much you owe on your house, but let's just say hypothetically it's 400,000, let's just say hypothetically, then they would only have $450,000 or, or left, four, left to, to rebuild which is, which is not enough to rebuild half of a house. No. And that doesn't include redoing the septic. Yeah. Right, yeah, talk a little bit about the whole situation here with the infrastructure, the water currently, the electric, the, and the septic, because I think it's really important for people to know. We're, we're by the way, we're in Waikuli neighborhood. We're at the- uh, 120A Fleming Road. 120A Fleming Road, right across the street from the chart house, where Front Street terminates. We're gonna talk about that at some point in time as well, but not for now. Um, so talk a little bit about the um, 
What was I saying? The sewer. Yeah, sewer the sewer. Water. Thank you. I started thinking about the chart house. Sorry. They, um, well, they just came and took our water meters. Everybody in Wyoming. So Coley. everybody, yeah, they took the water meter. So. Yeah. So here's, here's the, you can see the connections for the water right there. So the water meter's gone. They came and took all of our, theirs are there. Everybody's are gone. They just came and took them. Okay. We don't know why. Maybe they're defaulting now because of the fire. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so that's telling me that our lines are now open to all the debris. Uh -huh. And everything they just sprayed here. Yep. So I'm guessing they can't use the water lines now, which is one of the scenarios that we've heard that they possibly cannot use the water lines. They'll have to put in all new water lines for all of Wayakuli, mm -hmm. Lahaina Luna, and, and uh, Front Street. So, so the amount of time that you're thinking in your head that you'll that'll be before, so you had all the money you needed, right? Right now, just you had you know, 1.5 million bucks, which is probably what it would take to rebuild everything you yes. had, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, if you had all that money right now, when do you think, best case scenario, you would have the ability to move in based on what you've heard from the government officials? Is it, well, is it a year, is it two years, is it three years? We're getting conflicting heard? stories. Every time we hear one story or, or one estimate, we went to a, a county meeting last night to listen to the governor and, and I'm sorry, the mayor, mayor and, and other people. And they never, they just said it's going to be a long time. We were asking when, a year, two years, three years, so you don't know. They wouldn't no, give they us an know. answer. They, they wouldn't don't. give us an she answer. She just said it'll be a very long time. Right. And then other experts said that they were expecting two to three years because they're also going to have to redo the sewer lines. I think Civil Beat uh, was saying, had an article just recently, last couple of days, that upwards of three years. So, Pete, you know, the, the, <laughs> Kim's got a super duper computer. She's got thousands of field messages. And none of them are actually doing what the, this man's doing. He's going around and asking all the people have lost things. All the people have lost their homes, at least. Businesses. They haven't done any. It should be Kim have these people, representatives in Maui, walking up to people saying, is this your home here? Right. We're going to show everybody that we're there's somebody out there that cares about you. We're going to rebuild your home, and then you start seeing the heavy equipment coming in. At least start building. Not just one, but you could see a whole estate subdivision or whatever being reconstructed. And you think, oh, it's only free months what you expect three months when it's someone's lost their life and everything that should be priority priority not giving the money to the cabal to the deep state and all this other bullshit she says she can transfer oh, I've just transferred so many trillion to, to Joe Biden or whoever to do this that the other it's done nothing what about all the other countries that are a complete wreck right now? It's not anything's not you know nothing's been built. The things that you can see with your own eyes, okay, it's either through your family, through TV. She she dumps. She'll come out. She'll capitalize on the on the latest disaster. Like um. Every, something that catches everyone's heart, their eyes and their heart, and, and you know, people are very warmly to. And everyone goes, and she puts this thing like, How dare you do that to these people? I'll get you, I'll we'll take you out, I'll finish you, I'll send you all back to source. And then, months later, like again, tumbleweed. This is, honestly, this is what you people need to do. Now, this morning, might even been yesterday's situation report. You need to watch it. There's free copies out there. There's loads of people doing it now. Every time people put things up, she puts a complaint, a copyright in, and they get taken down, so... But yeah, have a look for her latest one. I'll do a video on it. But I'll just 
this is this is the sort of like in the same line of bullshit where Kim has now gone a bit too far with her promises and bullshit, forgetting at this time people even the most deeply controlled by Kim are gonna go bloody hell. How can you promise that? How can you say that's going to happen? It's obvious if, if that come true, <clears throat> everybody's going to see it. It's like um, a magician going to make Statue of Liberty disappear forever. Or, and say, so move it with a click of his fingers. So it moves from New York to Boston. And it stays there for a week and everyone can feel it and touch it. This is what Kim, Kim has, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but Kim has said something, a lot of things, that only a psychopath would say, unless they're confident that they can come up with the goods. And she said by end of this month, crazy, absolute crazy, this, this person is. I'm saying it from my point because we're in Team Bubble. We know she's never going to be able to come up with that. But I think that she's got so carried away. She's going to be. I'm thinking. I'm losing people's attention because I stuff I'm coming out with now. Nobody's believing. They're asking too many questions. So now, this must be the 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 big the big one that you've all been waiting for. But you know, she's going to come up with an excuse to say the cabal threatened this, threatened to poison everybody with a some kind of a spray or whatever. That's what she's going to say. She's going to. You've only got a couple of weeks, less than a couple of weeks, for her to come up with the goods. But watch the situation report, fifteenth of November. Let's copy it out there. This is to all you people that are sitting on the fence or believing Kim. Watch it. And you'll be going, oh, Kim, are you sure you want to be saying that? Or are you going to be going, oh, Kim, you're absolutely fantastic. This is it. We all, we're all going to be, this is the big one, the big party. You know, the one at the end. The trick of all. Like Kim's gonna be able to bring out, bring out the guns, and we're all gonna be able to crack on with the restoration plan now because this is such a massive event. <sighs> this is probably the one that's gonna break her, or she's gonna lose a lot of followers because she cannot come up with the goods with this I tell you what if she did let me tell you something now if what she's just announced happens end of this month we know for 100% it's not going to happen but let's just say by some miracle she come up with the goods this time we'll get I tell you, you we would promote her if she did that because that would be the ultimate proof that she says who she claims to be and that everything that we've been reporting has been like she said a trick of the cabal the demons <laughs> possessing us and things like that we would get on board and the thing is if everybody on this planet would know about this there's absolutely no way anyone could say that they don't know who Kim is and that the changes that she said in that video had been had gone, had gone ahead because they'd see it it'd be obs absolutely obvious because of it it impact the media governments everything 
even the mention of a global intelligence agency <clears throat> everything but I'm not going to hold my breath because it's bullshit and this is why I'm telling you now this is either going to be the end of a or the beginning of the end the big bang of her being finished because there will be people <clears throat> switching her off big time right folks that's all we have for you today but it's such a horrible thing to do to what she's done to those people in Maui giving them false promises selling the hopium just so you get a few more subscribe subscriptions and also end of go back to yesterday's show with her the cheek of it of having to you know or right at the end of her situation report oh by the way we've got a new online shop selling our merch tacky shit hoodies hats cups t-shirts with UNN and all this shit the same stuff that Tank was selling with Life Force crap on it Oh, by the way, and in that, uh, that 16th of August situation report we just heard, she said that, and she had to throw that bit in. She said that, thank you to all the subscribers because we couldn't help these people. <clears throat> Prove it. Prove it, Kim. Be transparent. If you think that, to, to get more subscribers or to hold on to subscribers so people those subscribers don't feel guilty if they have to stop it you think that you're going to be able to continue selling your bullshit on the on the situation reports and keeping your subscribers because like I said we've told you the you lot how much she makes a month a lot and none of that money goes to anybody grifters don't do that they definitely would should be coming up with the goods like I said all she's got to do is go to get sent someone one of the field messages that's in Hawaii to show what they've done with this subscription money that she claims to have done to help people with food medicines and then comes out with some bullshit that ships have been stopped to prevent food going into the cut there probably what there probably is there probably is but she's trying to make it out that the reason why the funds might not be getting this because it's getting stopped again the cabal stopped the money going in to stop these people well kim why don't you say i'm sorry but a lot of people have been you know we've been able to ransom here we're not doing it you're not getting a single penny until we can build those people's homes again three months you should start seeing reconstruction and people being smiling holding up banners there should be millions hundreds of thousands or even millions of people putting up boards outside saying Kim's restoration plan built my home absolutely is F all right thanks I've, folks I've got to go now but um wake up if you don't if you don't like I said from now on if you don't want to wake up you still want to follow her make a note of all this shit she's saying in her reports go back to all videos and replay them nothing's happened that she's promised especially ones that should be obvious in your eyes take care now bye bye